Hello everyone. This is a requested pick a card reading for what your messages are for the month of April. There are four cards to choose from. You pick the one that um, you are more drawn to. Okay. Card number one. You have the Knight of Swords. A lot of energy coming at you, but this is a month that could go by really quickly and a lot going on. Something significant may come rushing through, so I do feel that energy. You may hear news about something connected to finances or career, or this is from a person, too. I feel it's a masculine figure. A man is showing up, too. It is asking you to make um, some choices that are right for you. You may be making important decisions, and this is with work and also creative endeavors. You may be even changing your perspective or putting things into perspective. It is important to choose peace, too. So I'm seeing that energy. I do feel there is going to be a gain in your business, and also um, I want to say this is something of longevity. There can be a trip happening abroad, but it could be either plans change or an unsuccessful journey, okay? Maybe it doesn't bring fruition to something that you want on travel, so I do feel that energy. A letter or a message may be coming in that's going to be significant. I do see some long-distance uh, travel or it's a journey for you, all right? Some things are going to be falling apart, the energies are coming at you. These could be repairs or things are just uh, plans could be changing and be you could be accident pro, pro, prone. So slow down some way. You are unlimited. What you want, you can create. OK, you have unlimited possibilities. Um, know that someone that you may be concerned about or someone may be concerned about you is safe is what I'm seeing here as well. There's a focus on family as well. It's like an army around you is what I'm picking up. Okay, this could be war or this could be like um, conflict, but I do see it could also be that you may be, have to be the peacekeeper. You, you may need a lot of support around you at this time too, and you will need to lead as well. So you need the support, but you need to lead. And pick and choose who will be your followers and who is going to be a group of people. But if you aren't absolutely sure of your motives, no one's going to be uh, no one's going to be able to uh, follow you or stay, uh, stick with you somehow. So I do feel that energy. So it's gathering up things that are important to you. The letter A is coming up strong for you. The number seven, the number forty nine, and the number. Hmm, I think that's it that I'm picking up. Also, the number twelve. Okay, so that is for card number one. Now we're moving on to card number two. If you picked card number two, you have the four of swords. Remember to relax when things get busy and things do um, come at you because you could have a busy month or this is a month to prepare. You may be planning a vacation or some time off. You will reevaluate um, some things too. OK, because your mind may be working overtime, you will be business focused or there's a focus on your business or there's a focus on your career and finances this month. You're mastering things. You're going you do have the golden touch, the Midas touch, whatever you want to call it. So I do feel that energy. But this is a time to clear away any negativity, clear out some things, too, and shield your energy. All right. So I do feel that energy, too. You're going to start some new fresh activities, fresh starts. So I'm seeing that. Um, I do feel there's going to be a, a news coming in. It's good news. I do feel there's a mixture here. If it is something that's bad news that comes in that you feel, they, um, it's a blessing in disguise. Good news will follow. A feather is showing up in my mind, so a feather could be very strongly indicated um, as a symbol. 
Um, I do see a pleasant and successful association with somebody, a connection with love. Um, I do feel opportunities and possibilities are going to be open to you. Um, and they come in disguise. They come in a way, you know, if it's finding them or they're just subtle changes. Okay. So I am seeing that energy. Everything what you created is have um is going to bear fruit. And there are lessons that come with it and lessons in life that you've been uh, that you've learned and you're going to apply. Try to work through your fears this month too, okay? Because there um it's only fears that um may be holding you back or the unknown. So I do feel that energy too. Money and wealth is definitely in focus, and some of you will be um, boosting your income or career somehow, okay? And this is also a time of taking care of your health. If you pick card number three, oh, wait, number two. There's something about waiting, too. I just picked that up. Maybe you feel stagnation or there's no progress. It's waiting patiently. Some things may uh, you have to wait for. You may be working behind the scenes too is what I'm feeling. And others do not know what's going on. Not all the pieces of the puzzle are put together yet. But they will be. So you will be successful with patience as well too. Okay? Waiting for something too. So I definitely feel that energy. All right. Card number three. You have the Ten of Cups. Love support is around you and new beginnings, definitely. You're coming to a new beginning and a completion of something that's going to be successful. So I do feel that energy. There is a focus on love rewards and releasing things and breaking and setting free. Some of you, I do see you're going to be more financially independent, not relying on others. So I do feel that energy. It could be a change of direction with work and career. A significant man is going to be in focus in your life. There's masculine energy. This is either your um, maybe a husband, a um, partner, uh, maybe your son. I don't know. Um, boss, father. I do pick that up. Is coming into focus. You're wrapping something up with finances. Some of you may be purchasing something of luxury or of value that's going to be significant too. I do see here also you need to be brave this month. There is someone around in your inner circle that you can't trust. I do feel here also there is a lucky, uh, dumb luck that surrounds you. Prosperity, good fortune, but emotions could be running high. This is a release of your bottled up emotions as well, so I do feel that energy. Something no longer holds power over you. That could be the masculine figure that I'm feeling. It is a month that you need to dissolve attachments of the past, but do it with love and kindness and let it go. There can be a decrease in some way. These could be your resources or your emotional, you know, it's emotional buildup. It's being stretched somehow, your emotions, your money. Um, so it is important to kind of um, economize these areas. Don't think of things as a loss. It's just a clearing and a clearing of space for the future. Something is clearing up. You're coming to new beginnings. This is a time for healing for you as well. Okay? The number 10 definitely is strong for you. All right. If you pick card number four. You have a major arcana of the high priestess, so important, significant month for you. It is advised that you trust yourself. People could give you advice. People could be um, something be, be going on, but you need to follow your intuition. 
You could be dealing with secret lovers, secret um, situations, secret clubs. There is something behind the scenes here too. Feminine energy is important, and I feel that you, uh, your mother is coming into focus as well. Or um, I also feel that there could be like a secret um, that a female may be holding um, on, or maybe there's something that needs to be released here and let go. Maybe it's something you need to confess or someone around you. There is new changes at home. There can be um, news of pregnancy as well as what I'm picking up. Whatever you start will bear fruit, but divine timing is at play here. Spirituality is important as well for you this month. There are things that you need to let go of. Your sexual desires and longing and passion is, um, is going to be um, accented here. See what is happening behind the scenes is what I'm seeing. There can be anger happening too because I do see a lot of passionate energy. Some of you will be entering, um, uh, like taking your marriage to a happier level. I want to say there's happiness there. Some of you, there is good fortune coming your way too that you do not see yet. Um, some of you may be uh, planting flowers, receiving flowers. I do see a bunch of flowers. Stay very strong and, and be the guiding light. Follow your intuition. Ground yourself with love this month as well. So it's going to be very um, important for you. There is definitely a new start that is coming. You're coming to a new phase here as well. There is also some good news from a distance coming in. A new journey is um, predicted here. You're going to be entering a new chapter in your life. There is something that's warning you in your intuition that's going to bring attention to something important in your life. Remember that if things are wrong here, where you are now, they may be wrong elsewhere as well. The grass is not always greener on the other side. Travel light this month. You are on a new journey and it starts with a baby step. Don't carry on excessive baggage or something heavy is what I'm feeling, but also even emotions. It's a time to pure and clarify things and release some things. So this new journey is a purging as well. Okay. Important um, number for you is 14. All right, that is the reading. Bye for now.